Good morning, everybody. My name is Andreas Kerner. I'm the chairman of the board of United Horsemen of Alberta, doing business as Century Downs Racetrack and Casino. It is my pleasure this morning to introduce to you Susan Green, who is the acting chair of the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission, Shirley McClellan, who is CEO of Horse Racing Alberta, and Max Gibb, who is vice chair of United Horsemen of Alberta. We will start with Susan this morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me here today to help celebrate the first day of live horse racing at Century Drowns Racetrack and Casino. Our CEO, Bill Robinson, was here a few weeks ago for the grand opening. He told me how beautiful it was, but words do not do it justice. I am very impressed on my short tour that I had this morning and I look forward to a longer one later. And horse racing hasn't even started yet. The Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission is proud of the relationship that we have built with Century Casinos Inc. and the United Horsemen of Alberta. Strong business acumen, significant resources and countless hours went into making this world-class facility a reality. With best-in-class gaming floor, horse racing track, lounge, restaurant, and off-track betting, this complex will provide a state-of-the-art entertainment experience for Calgarians and visitors alike. But the benefits of this facility extend beyond heightened recreational opportunities. A significant portion of the revenues generated here at Century Downs will be placed in the Alberta Lottery Fund. Last year, the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission contributed almost $1.5 billion in provincial gaming revenue for the fund. This money goes to support thousands of groups, organizations, and projects across the province every year. From building roads and health facilities to supporting athletic events and conserving historic buildings, Alberta Lottery Fund dollars are making a positive impact in the lives of Albertans every day. And speaking of positive impacts, I'd like to highlight that Century Downs is equipped with a responsible gaming information center. While Albertans have told us that they want access to gaming entertainment, it's essential that we promote a culture of moderation. We take the promotion of responsible gambling very seriously and along with our partners support programming around the identification, prevention, treatment and research of problem gambling. Our Responsible Gambling Information Centre is staffed with a representative who will meet with patrons to discuss and provide resources for responsible gambling and I encourage you to stop by that booth later today. Again, I would like to congratulate Century Downs Racetrack and Casino on its first day of horse racing. I'm excited to take in the first standard bred race in the Calgary area in some nine years. This is a very special day. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Susan. Shirley, may I ask you to go next? Wow. <laughs> this is some excitement for us. Um, when I was here three weeks ago for the opening of the casino, I was excited. What really excited me was having some of our horsemen join us that day in their colors and tie the racing activity to the casino downstairs. It looked a little rough that, that day out there, but when I look out there today and see what amazing progress has been made, thanks to all of the hard work around uh, this place through, I think, the leadership of Paul Reinveld, who's here somewhere. Well, if he's not, oh, there you are. He should, he, I thought he'd be out in the test barn fixing something there for CPMA. Yeah, been there. But I, I don't think a lot of people will appreciate the work that goes into bringing us here today. It's been a long, tough journey. Calgary's been without racing for almost a decade. And the fans and the horsemen in this area 
welcome it back. I can tell you that. There's a lot of people that made this possible. And as I said when I was here three weeks ago, you run into great trouble if you start trying to name people. I take a little bit of license with that with just a couple. Uh, the first one I'm going to mention is a gentleman who unfortunately won't be with us today, and I hope Max will discuss a little bit further, Lynn Schwinnard. Lynn was, I think in my opinion, Max, the linchpin of the United Horsemen of Alberta. Lynn had a dream, shared with a number of his fellow horsemen, both thoroughbred and standardbred, and has never believed that this wouldn't happen. So Max, I hope you pass on to Lynn Schwinnard, bar none, the appreciation of all of the people who are in this industry. And the second one is this gentleman, and I use that term loosely, to my right. <laughs> We're among friends, Max. <laughs> is Max Gibb. Max has never faltered from the belief that we would have a racetrack in the Calgary market. It's been a tough go, Max. You've had your people who believed in you. They might have been in the minority from those who believed it couldn't happen. But Max has never quit, and I think we should acknowledge that here today. And the United Horsemen of Alberta were very bright. They formed a partnership with a great gaming co company, Century Casinos, Inc. Uh, Peter Holzinger is here co-chair of Century. And Peter, I have to tell them that you came to Alberta, and I'll tell you, he gave me a pretty rough hour <laughs> and a bit to for me to explain why Century would want to be involved in horse racing. It's a new part of their portfolio. Uh, and I think, I hope, that you believe today it was a very wise investment. So Peter, Erwin Hatesman, who's here also, who's the co-chair. Hey, there's Erwin. Uh, thank you. Thank you for believing in this project and for sending us great people to carry it through. Andreas, who's uh, your man on the ground, comes in here, hasn't figured out what time dinner time is in Alberta, but uh, he's, he's here to oversee it. And then to hire... Uh, a great person from the horse industry, Paul Reinfeld, to oversee this. You put a great team together, and I applaud every one of you. Paul, what your team has done under your leadership is absolutely amazing. I leave the other group to uh, <clears throat> the end because of their importance, and that's the horsemen. Whether they're the drivers, the owners, the trainers, uh, in the thoroughbred industry, the jockeys, the owners, the traders. You have had uh, an interesting journey with us. For this province to only have one A track has been difficult, to say the least. But well, we're here today, and there's a group of people called Standard Breads that have been shuttled from track to track that I think lesser people would have quit and given up, but they don't, and uh, here you are. The one thing I can tell you for sure, you will be here for 90 days of racing. We're not going to move you until the end of the season, <laughs> and uh, I think you would all appreciate that. Um, they are steered by a gentleman, Fred Gillis, who Many of you will know, and if you don't, you will. I tell people that Fred's the person that impossible just takes a little bit longer. And uh, he's had a great working relationship with Paul and the group here to get us to this today. So for you horsemen, congratulations. You're here. We will see some of the fastest times, some of the best horses, the most exciting races over the next days. We have award-winning drivers, we have award-winning horses, and we put on a quality pro product. 
Lastly, I want to just mention John Gallinger is here from Standard Bread Canada. John, I think you should stand up. John and I have discussed this and he will tell you, if you take the time to chat with him after, how important this is to Standard Bread Racing nationally and I believe internationally. So, uh, Standard Bread Canada, thank you for hanging in there with us. I know it's been the odd little bump there too. Uh, so I, I want to just conclude by saying to our fans, who we'll see this afternoon, the one thing I forgot to deal with with Paul was the weather. <laughs> Paul, we went over every detail of this track, and I forgot about that part. But you know what? These guys are tough. They can race up to 20 below. This is a piece of cake. We'll put on a show this afternoon that'll be exciting. And for our fans, bear with us. This is a work in progress. Every time you come to this track, you will see improvement for your enjoyment. But if you look at that track and you see the sight lines of that racetrack, you know you're going to enjoy every race that's out there. So to our media, and I know that we don't have a lot of media with us today, we understand that you have a hockey team in the playoffs. <laughs> Uh, in fact, you have two. We won't talk about the junior one. It's not as, quite as exciting today as the other one. We wish uh, them well, and we understand the media covering that exciting event in Calgary, because it's almost the same period of time that they've been out of the playoffs. So, uh, To the media that did come, thank you. To the media who covered this event, I've seen coverage this morning, both in print, television, and I'm sure on radio, thank you. And uh, stay with us. We'll offer you an exciting year of racing at Century Downs Racetrack and Casino. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Uh, Max, please. There, there's a saying that obviously you can tell they're from Austria. They haven't heard that you never put a Max with a mic. <laughs> and. and um, it's absolutely a pleasure to be here today, and, and I can tell you why, because it's, it's been a long journey. Uh, I was here 10 years ago, almost to the day, on this property, um, standing, looking, there was nothing from here to the highway. There was a farm and a cattle ranch, and there were cattle and there were gophers. And, and we, decided to purchase the land and start a dream. The intent originally was to build a racetrack, uh, a, a world-class racetrack. And with the support of the government, and the government of this Alberta government has been phenomenal in their support. They haven't given us financial help. They're, this has been done by private enterprise, but their moral support and the opportunities they provided us an, an off-ramp, I remember asking for an off-ramp off Highway 2, busiest highway in uh, Western Canada, uh, second in Canada, um, and they said, yeah, we'll let you have it, you have to pay for it. Horseman put together $138 million working with Ivanhoe Cambridge. When they found that we had this wonderful piece of property, they came and said, we'd like to build a world-class um, shopping center, and they had. We were moving forward with a racetrack. There were little issues like no water. Um, there were little issues like uh, uh, hitting a wall of a recession. There were all kinds of problems and issues, but you know what? There were believers, and, and two of the believers was the government, this province, and the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission. And, and the people who put in their money, and put the money where their mouth was, and one was Lynn Chenard. And um, I'll have a little trouble with this because um, Lynn was supposed to die eight years ago, and he won't. He's living to see a racetrack. Now, I had five other friends that were started with us, and they aren't here today. Ron Brimacombe, 
Um, um, I, I know I, if I, I get, uh, Bill Code is not healthy. Um, Bob Murphy, uh, they're watching from upstairs. Actually, I heard my phone go off, go off and it was God calling. And he said, you know, Max, tell everybody congratulations. Uh, you, we've got it done. The, it has been. So this project was going to be a million, a billion dollar project. We thought we would do it in four or five years. This will be, if, if you look around, all of this is because of a racetrack. And it is a billion dollar project. If you combine everything. And this, the track itself, is, is a work in, pro, in process. This will become a better track. There will be other levels. There will be a hotel. There will be development around it. There will be more barns. This will be one of the best racetracks in North America. Alberta will be probably the greatest juris horse jurisdiction, is now, but racehorse jurisdiction in Canada. We won't be Woodbine, but we'll be as a provincial jurisdiction, the strongest and the best. And it will drive the economy and it will create employment and it will, there will be farming and there will be breeding and, and there will be hundreds of millions of dollars of economic development because this will prompt it and encourage it. As I said, we, we'd had struggles. And then, and as Shirley said, then we got really wise. We, we knew of an organization that had a great reputation, an international reputation. And they were called Sentry. And we did talk to them, and we did flirt with them, and we did tell them a few stories. And you know, in the end, they believed them all. And, and today, uh, without Century, this dream wouldn't be fulfilled. We appreciate the government, we appreciate AGLC, we appreciate the investors, we appreciate the horsemen. This will be the jurisdiction. And, and one last thing, the history of Alberta was built on horse racing. For hundreds of years, communities had rodeos, stampedes, and racehorse meets. And this will be the culmination of that legacy and that history. Now, I'm gonna do one last thing. I, I did it with a couple of the guys uh, last night at a dinner. But Peter, the first guy in, I, I, I find the Austrians a little nerdy when it comes to being Albertans. Uh, we, we've got to sex them up a little bit. And, and uh, so, P Peter, I, uh, I want to have you come up. And, and, and Don't be taking off. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking off my pants. I don't <laughs> The, the, stamp, the stampede gives um, cowboy hats. We give gold belt buckles. And it says, Century Downs, Alberta, 2050. And he'll be a hell of a lot better cowboy when he wears this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking that, Ron. <laughs> so are there any more questions? I don't really have a question, but I always have something to say on the uh, I think on behalf of the horsemen, uh, and you haven't heard that. Fred, would you want to come here? Sure, he does. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware of this. Yeah. Man, he's good at a podium. Uh, I hadn't prepared to say anything, but I think from the horseman's half, and certainly I'm a horseman before I'm a, an administrator, that this, this dream that, that has become a reality is, is unbelievable from our perception. Uh, again, words couldn't describe 
what this will mean to the horse economy, the owners, that have endured uh, from our side since 2008 or six when Standard Breds ended in Stampede. Uh, we're a hardy breed, we've hung in there. We've seen most of this province from north to south racing to get to where we are today. And uh, Max talked about being emotional, I'm a little emotional. Uh, I've worked with two of the toughest people that just had no quit in them, in Shirley and Max. From day one, they just kept foraging forward, battle to battle. Uh, I've been lucky enough to meet the players in Century, uh, Paul Reinfeld from day one, we've had a great relationship. It continues to develop. And I think going forward, this is gonna be very exciting. I know what we have for horses and horsemen. We have a world-class act, we'll show it. We needed a place to do it, now we have it. And I just wanna say thank you to all the people that uh, have worked hard to make this possible. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Andreas, can I, uh, there, there's one person that I wasn't going to mention because I get a little emotional, um, as Max did talking about Lynn. But you know, there's one person who really, really, really believed in us. And that was Ralph Klein. Yeah, absolutely. And Premier Klein is the person who allowed us the opportunity to put the Horse Racing Act a renewal initiative act into legislation in 2002 and he believed in this industry and he believed in it not just because he loved the horse industry he was especially fond of uh, of the uh, standard breads and I can still hear Joe Carberry at his roast talking about the pitiful horse that Ralph had some of you will know that from your history but that man believed in it because he knew the value of this industry to particularly rural Alberta. And he stood behind us getting that through. Uh, the negotiation with AGLC, who are almost as tough a negotiators as Century, <laughs> to uh, allow this industry the opportunity to make a difference. And that's one thing we should all make clear. We earn our money. We do not receive a subsidy from the government of Alberta. What we receive from the government of Alberta and have since 2002 is an opportunity to generate revenue that benefits our rural communities through agriculture, our community lottery fund that puts playgrounds and medical equipment in, and uh, to provide fans with a first-class sport. So there, I got through it really well. But uh, I thought of Ralph this morning. Uh, he would have loved to have been here. In fact, one of the last uh, best days he had was presenting a blanket in the eighth race to Blue Star Beauty. No, nope, I'm not getting it quite right, but it was Doug's, uh, Doug's horse. Uh, in the eighth race, uh, that was the last best day Ralph had in uh, in uh, public uh, activity. He bet every race, and he said the only one he lost is when he put a sympathy bet on Freddie Gillis's horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't bet on Freddie's. <laughs> well, thank you. Are there any more questions?